So what, Rick? You just made a video about adult children of alcoholic. So they grow up. Big freaking deal. Deal with it. You know, they'll go on to be normal kids uh, or normal adults and get over it. Uh, I guess I should just go on and carry this through. That uh, these adults don't go on and carry it through. They have a lot of unresolved anger. And tied in with this unresolved anger is a horrible amount of fear that's been dumped on them as children. And uh, like it or not, as grown up as they get, whether they're 30, 40, 50 years old, unless they start dealing with the inner child, they're never going to uh, attain an actualization to where they get over the disease process. The other issue that adults, children of alcoholic, have to deal with is that they now themselves can become substance abusers um, and, and start dealing with an addiction problem themselves as a way to mask or cover up. Uh, what they saw them, their parents do or their parent do. Um, and that's in the best situation where the parents were just the abuser uh, of, of, say, alcohol and they just uh, were yellers and screamers and had the fights and, you know, uh, were abusive towards their spouse and not their children. Um, it'd be horrendous to think that an, an alcoholic or a substance abuser would uh, beat their children or uh, punish their children in such a way that they had that to deal with. Um, in conjunction with the unresolved anger and the fright or fear that goes along with, with just growing up in a household like that. And then work comes along. They've got to earn a living. And these are people that have to go to a workplace. And so their peers in the workplace become their brothers and sisters and their supervisors and bosses or employers become the parents and they can once again fill in or replace their home away from home uh, and create a new environment from which to live out this dysfunction. Uh, so what is the big deal Rick? Well the big deal is is that this plagues society. Um, you've got adults now that used to be children who ran around with fear and anxiety and anger and now they've entered the workplace and all they're trying to do is run around and please everybody and do the best that they can to show that they are worthy to sit at the table that they are worthy to uh, be loved and um, that comes from a society that's thankless um, as we become adults, uh, we, if we grew up in a functional home, we don't realize what kind of situation that these folks grew up in, and these guys grew up in, or these girls grew up in, and so we go around and we treat them like we grew up in normal homes, and uh, we don't think that they deserve any other praise than, than we got. So they will vacillate between the anger of being underappreciated and the fear of if I don't do such a good job I could once again experience displeasure from my boss to the same degree or the nth degree that I did from my parent that was abusing alcohol. You know, eventually fear, anger, they alternate. Um, it's a horrible situation for any human being to be put in. And I guess that's why I made the video initially is because um, you will see people who just repeat the same patterns and they go around in circles and spin their wheels and um, I do care about people like that and it does scare me when I, I see people like that um, and uh, I just want people to be sensitive to it instead of being haters and, and uh, calling them names and you know give them the benefit of the doubt uh, try to support them and understand where they come from and what kind of life that uh, they grew up in and try to encourage them to get some help. Um, that's the best we can do for them. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I, I just I just don't know if there is anything else. Uh, 
I might have opened up a big old can of worms. I didn't mean to. I certainly don't want to be the self-help uh, YouTube land. Uh, that was never my intent. Uh, I was merely responding because I saw a need or an unmet need and uh, so anyhow uh, I do appreciate y'all watching the videos the stars don't count for me I'm not an entertainer and uh, y'all take care uh, God bless and uh, I'll talk at you later